Hello everybody and I just wanted to come back and do a little messy video. You know how we do over here when we got people acting out of pocket. We just got to call them on their bullshit. So we're taking a first class flight, a window seat, and we're going to sail on into the skies going up to about 45,000 feet in the air. Yes. And we're going to put ourselves on autopilot because we got to be a hot mess. We have to be hot, hot, hot mess today. Yes, I was scrolling through my timeline just on Twitter, minding my own business, and I came up, or I came across Philip Kowasi, better known as Philip Count Dracula, okay, the Count, since he want to call people Big Bird, meaning Torian, on one of the episodes, I think it was season three, no, season one, episode three, he called Torian a Big Bird, now don't he look like Count Dracula, he do, yes he do, he do, yes he do, <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Count Dracula. All right. And I don't know where he thought he was going in this satin ass outfit. No ma'am. No sir. No God. Okay. But he going to put on his Instagram that he cares about candy in the game. He cares about the style. But yet you treat Torian like shit. You talk to him like shit. You tell him not to think. That's what you're not paying him for. All right. And then you call him Big Bird. All right. Then you're going to have some words, some choice words for Candy and Don um, Juan. All right. And she's looking at you like, man, if Candy eyes could kill you, you would have been dead, planted six feet under, and then I would have knocked you down 12 more. Okay. Yes, because they both were looking like, you see Don Juan's face. The audacity of you to try to tell her what she should be doing. Oh, hell to the no, no, no. And my Sheree Whitfield voice. Woo, child. She got your ass on that last episode. But honey, I just had to come. I'm like, oh, so he's trying to say he loves Shandrika. He down with Shandrika now. Is he trying to say that? Okay, because he... She was the first person he tried to get in somebody's ass, okay? But she checked him. She went home for the day, but she still checked him and then told him to his face, I don't like you, okay? All right. <laughs> well, really what pissed me off was he even got Brian in trouble, suspended him on the spot, and his brother don't went through hell. You don't know nobody's passion. You don't know nobody's feet. You don't know nobody's fate that they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, and see... Brian was going through a lot of shit, okay? And he's still here to tell us about it. Praise the Lord. And then you're going to sit there and fire him or want to fire him and just that and third and talking all nasty to him. Didn't even get a chance to know the brother. Didn't even get a chance to know what the brother was going through. You just saw what you wanted to see and it wasn't what you wanted. So you was like, boom, poof, be gone. You're fired. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even know he was going through a lot of mess. But then as time went on and y'all were taping, y'all found out or you found out and then you're going to have a recollection or maybe you didn't. Until we as fans, viewers of the show, came in and saw what was really going on. And you didn't like the optics. So you were trying to play up by saying you really enjoy what uh, Brian had put out there on the platform. That people were relatable. They could relate to his story. And now you want to jump on the bandwagon and say, yeah, I'm, so, I'm in good support of Brian too. No, you're thirsty. You're thirsty for the show. You're thirsty for the popularity. I'm like, Felipe, come get your man. Felipe, come get your man. Take him back wherever you are or come down here and train him. Train him, Felipe, because he is nothing without you. He's running all willy-nilly around here, cussing out people, trying to fight him. And it's because he's unhappy that you're not here with him. Felipe, come back. Felipe, come back. Come back. I know you don't want to be messing with that, that joke or that ninja because you probably got somebody up in New York or wherever you're residing. Society. You already got somebody that you loving on, and not this satin sheet, blue sheet wearing. Okay, ninja. All right, Count Dracula. All right. I'm just, I'm on staying. I really don't understand how he can come up with an epiphany that, oh, all the people that he wanted to fire, they have stories. They have stories to tell. And if Candy would have let you fire Brian, the story wouldn't have gotten told. Now, don't you feel like egg on your face? Okay, everybody don't have it all together. It takes time to mold people, to shape people, to understand people. And that's something you don't have, Felipe. You don't, well, Felipe, Philip, Philip, we need Felipe. We need your boyfriend here because you 
are just nothing without him. You're just arrogant. You're mean. You're uh, mean spirited. I, I just don't care for you, man. I just don't care for you. And then you're going to step in time out on your Twitter account. I care about this staff and restaurant group a lot. More than I thought I would. I also respect what Candy and Todd stand for. It may be counterproductive at times, but they really care about their fam and staff. That's hard to balance when you're tr when you're trying to run a successful business. I'm like, well, then take yourself out the equation. Take yourself out the equation, Philip. Walk away from this grand opportunity that can put you in a stratosphere. Okay. You'd already done spit on, thrown away. Brian did the same thing to Tori and told Tori he he don't pay him the thing. Don't think. Just react. I don't want. Like, no, brother. That's not how it goes. You catch a lot of bees with honey, then you do vinegar. All right. But it took you to watch playback of the confessionals to find out what really goes in or goes on with your staff. And now you can try to relate. Or that's what you're trying to tell us you're doing at this time. No, sir. No, God. No, Lord. Too late. Too sorry. Bye-bye. I can't take it. All right. And all these other people that we haven't gotten a chance to see. Uh, are they still there? Or you run them away as well? Did you run them away, baby? Did you run them away? Come in, Bertha. We don't like you. We don't care for you. We don't like your management style. Okay. We don't know where you picked up those skills. But to me, it almost got you fired. When you came off on Candy, the owner, as well as her backup right-hand man, Don Juan. They all looking at you like you crazy. And your management skills are running. I'm like, Candy, where y'all get him from? Send him back. Put him on back over there on Blaze. I mean, evidently, it's uh, the staff at Blaze Restaurant. They don't like him. So you had to really pull him away to check things out for yourself. Because me, me, me and Bertha, me and Auntie Bertha don't like him. We sure don't. We don't like his demeanor. We don't like his character. We don't like his emotions. Okay, he's not happy uh, uh, doing anything unless his boyfriend is around. And his boyfriend don't stay in Georgia. Okay, and me and Bertha said, I'll be damned. We're going to let him run over us. Or don't let him come by my grandchildren. Don't let him talk about Patrick and don't let him talk about Mel because she will have a problem. And then I'll birth out to get on can and make her cry and go, you know, it's going to be a, a big old bunch of mess. But I just had to get on him because I read that. I said, I know. Philip of all people. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Aunt Bertha, for smiling because we needed that smile. Because that Count Dracula right there calling somebody Big Bird and he looking like Count Dracula. He don't have a clue i'm like did y'all check his credentials are y'all sure he said he does what he does because you were questioning him can you were questioning him you were sizing his resume up when he was trying to get you in check and then told you had to pull up you had to pull a fast one and say oh okay your skills that you said you did to shape and round and mold the people i need you to use those skills okay because right now you're feeling miserable and i was like come through candy with the come through i wait when you're going to check this ninja i wonder when you're going to check them i'm like god how it took you two episodes before you could check this brother but better late than never, like your baby girl, I say, better late than never, if you're talking about her dad, okay? I was here for it, but I'm like, mm-mm, Philip Kawasi, you are a hot mess, you need to get your stuff together, because you're not looking right on these streets. You're not looking right in, you know, in the streets of Atlanta, trying to call yourself managing at the OLG. Uh-uh, you're not looking good, and the whole scene where they had last night that I looked at, about stuff on the floor. That ain't kosher. That's why Candy can't pass her inspections. Were you there? Were you hired at the time where she's making these D's and C's and not even on the radar on the map for the inspection? Are you there managing at the time? Were you there managing at the time? Because you damn sure need to be fired. Okay? Or put on notice. Because if you're the GM and you're running things and you're not dressed in this hot uh, blue I don't know what kind of suit you got on. Look like it's sad, like you could, like it be, need to be wrapped around my head for a protective covering for my hair. I can't take it. But anyway, cause like you would slide off a bench if you sat down on it. All right, like that slippery cover stuff back in the day. Your parents used to put on the sofas and stuff to keep it clean. You just slide off that shit. And that's what he looked like. You just slide off on the floor with that blue suit on. I'm like, 
where is your boyfriend? Because evidently you can't dress correctly either when he's not around. I'm like, please beg him to come back to Atlanta to stay with you for all of this. Because we don't need to see you anymore with all your horrible antics, your mouth, and, and just your whole demeanor. We don't need it. Can and may need it, but we don't need it. He's not my favorite, y'all. He is not my favorite. Because when he got on my brine and my torium, I was like, uh-uh. That piece be still. Because we need to get this ninja. We need to get him. Because he's out of control. But when he got up there on his Twitter account, talking about he has really become fond of uh, the employees at um, Candy and the Gang restaurant or OLG restaurant. Like, baby. <laughs> he like Shantrika because she snitch on people. All right. Who does that? He like Brian because Brian is becoming the uh, audience favorite. Especially when we don't see him go through some things and he's still here to talk about it. Now he trying to jump on the bandwagon where I support Brian. I support the Candy and the Gang staff. I support everybody. No, we're not feeling it. <laughs> and Brian, he really wanted to say something else. He ain't close to you. You can tell it all in his demeanor and his facial expressions. He don't care for you, but since... You know, he don't want to mess up his thing. He ain't saying too much of nothing. But giving you short little brief burst of accolades. But he don't mean it. He don't. He really don't. Okay. He really don't mean it. Because you, if you're still the same person, you, ah, you can't do it. You'll give me an anxiety attack. But it just is what it is. I had to come by, break it down for y'all. I was being messy because I didn't like what he wrote. And the actions that he's showing on film are totally different. I'm like, I see you. I see you, Philip. I see you. <laughs> okay, you're trying to come up on the come up. But if you still have that little nasty attitude, those arrogant ways, really, it's going to show. It's going to peep out. You're going to be like NeNe Leakes running around here in these Atlanta streets. You're going to be once forgotten, twice shy. Okay? And we're going to be forgetting about you totally. We don't want to see you in season two. I mean, I hope another manager come in or do something. Because mm -mm, I'm not like a Philip. Not. Now, his boyfriend, that's another thing. He looks so sweet, so nice. I'm like, how did he come up with messing with Philip? I do not know. Okay. But something in the buttermilk don't smell clean. Because he really wanted to be with you, Philip. I think he would charter uh, or rearrange his schedule where he could be here all the time. All right, not just a afterthought life. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all like this video? Please continue to subscribe, share, and like my videos, okay? But I had to have a little rant. I had to have a little rant. I'm like, you can't like people now, Philip. That everything is uh, taped and sealed, and we're seeing uh, everything unfold, and you're coming up looking like an ass, a jackass at that. All right, you can't change our opinion unless you do something very spectacular in the other. Let me see, we had three, so she said they had ten. Okay, so we got seven more. We got seven more episodes. Maybe you'll have a reprieve somewhere down here. But right now, you're looking piss poor, brother. You're looking piss poor. I mean, you can't get on Tori. You can't get on Brian. You can't get on Shandrika. You can't get on Candy and Don Juan and think people going to forget about it. Mm -mm. You were talking down to people that were really up above you. But that's your arrogance. Okay. Pride comes for the fall. Pride comes for the fall. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Bye-bye.